we know that we're adding heat to the system. If you add heat, it's got to get warmer sooner or later. What we didn't know is by how much and when and what kind of impacts there would be. We didn't quite anticipate early that it would increase the intensities of hurricanes or wildfires. We expected heat waves. All of that's happened. So in the last 30, 35 years, the reason we now have a world clamoring to do something is that nature's cooperated with theory. All those things that were projected cautiously are happening and people now finally say, well, maybe we better do something about it, but let's not hurt my industry while we do that and let's not hurt my state. So we're always trying to find ways that we don't get the but let's not. So let's find a way to get them on board with some kind of transition strategy. So in the 35 years I've been studying the problem, I've switched now to spending much less of my time on the climate science per se, because as that becomes increasingly demonstrated to the point that the most recent IPCC report used the word unequivocal. That's an incredible word for conservative scientists to describe global warming and very likely for the last 30 years of it being due to us. We need to now move on who gets hurt, how do we fix it, how do we do it cost effectively? How do we bring people into the tent in the developing world who've not yet had their industrial revolution? Because if we let them do it our way, we're going to triple or, or quintuple CO2. That's unacceptable, but freezing the inequity of their poverty is unacceptable. So this requires really creative international solutions. And the action is now shifted over to the solution side, away from the science side, although there's plenty of science to do in detail. We still have the basic idea down now, but we have less idea about how to fix it cost effectively and politically acceptably. And that's where the action is. And that's what the residency for my report for South Australia is trying to do in the context of one state. But almost all the lessons learned can be generalized to other places. And that's where it has real value.